This is a mechanical keyboard which I paid $15 for and in this video we'll be seeing how good it is. So let's start by unboxing the keyboard itself. The keyboard comes in this brown box with the branding on top. So it's really nothing fancy but again I'm not really expecting much in the first place. Inside the box we are instantly greeted with the keyboard wrapped in some thin foam which is enough already so it's fine. Taking that out, we'll also find some spare switches and a switch puller. There's no keycap puller though, so um, your figures I guess. So this is the Bajel K100, which again costs just $15. Now if you're new to mechanical keyboards, well, this is incredibly cheap. However, when I looked at online shops that ships internationally, unfortunately I am unable to find one that sells at a similar price to what I bought it for. So before we go into the keyboard itself, let's see what are the features that they have listed for us. In full caps at the top, it says that we have hot swap for Ultimo and content switches, which is pretty cool since we don't have hot swap on most cheap keyboards. Next, also in full caps, it says that only blue switches are available, so yes, this keyboard came with blue switches. After that, we just have a description of a keyboard. Not this keyboard, just what a keyboard is supposed to be so that's not very helpful but whatever increases the legitimacy of the product i guess the keyboard itself can come in two case colors white or black and they also have different color keycaps like black and orange white and blue and white and pink so there's an option for everyone from the picture alone i like the white and blue one the most so i bought the black and orange one picking it up i instantly noticed how light it is so yeah, this keyboard is fully plastic, however, this is not the cheapest feeling plastic that I've felt, so that's good I guess. And for the keycaps personally, I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks. I despise the font that they used and the texture has this grainy feel to it, but at least it's consistent and it helps with grips. And well, the keycap works, so yeah, there's not much complaining on that. Underneath those, however, we have the Otemu Blues, which I am dreading to type on. The length of the cable that it comes with is 1.5 meter long. And the cable is also not detachable as expected from a cheap keyboard, but uh, yeah. It also comes with RGB if you're into that. This is what it looks like. And luckily for me, I can turn it off. So, 10 out of 10. Anyway, here's the typing test. Okay, and it sounds pretty bad, so here's what's wrong with it. First of all, the stabilizers. The amount of ticking and rattling on this thing is insane, and their sounds are so inconsistent depending on if I tap it on the left side or on the right side. Like if I tap it on the right side, it, there will be more ticking and rattling than on the left side, which is very weird. Secondly, the case is very light and cheap. It is also hollow and the sound is terrible. The last and most important one is, well, the switches. Then it came to me, a genius idea. Since this keyboard is hot swap, let's mod it right, surely it'll go well. So after that, I spent hours trying to mod this keyboard. I did not succeed uh, because of the reasons following. First of all, the keyboard turned out to just be using a Milmax sockets for it to be hot swap, which means two things. First is that there are a lot of sockets poking under the PCB, so I cannot tempest mod the keyboard. Second is the fact that I won't be able to fit in the switches easily. But surely it'll work, right? So without losing hope, I spent an hour trying to get the Otemu Blues out because for some reason, they are incredibly hard to pull out. After getting all of them out and also killing my thumb in the process, I got some switches that would normally fit in Otemu sockets, namely the Echo CS switches. And for this occasion, more specifically, I used the Magic Greens. They are linear switches with a 50 gram actuation force, but most importantly, they sound and feel pretty good without me having to loop them because I'm too lazy. Boom, another plot twist. Sadly, they don't go in correctly. Okay, so it must just be the switches, right? The listing said it would fit content switches, so I took out some content row switches and, um, Well, they fit, but they don't fit. Like, technically, they fit since they go in the socket, but they don't snap to the plate. So, I can't use this. Okay, maybe we'll just mod the stabilizers. 
yeah they don't go out so if you see over here there are actually two screws and since this keyboard is tray mod meaning that these screws go all the way to the bottom of the case of this keyboard and since the stabilizer wires are behind it then we're gonna need to disassemble the case to take out the stabilizers so since we cannot change the switches and the stabilizers are gonna take too much work to just take out I decided to just not mod the keyboard because even if I did, modding the stabilizers wouldn't make the Ultima Blue sound any nicer and the switches won't go in properly, so what's the conclusion really? In the end, it's what you'd expect, a non hot swap PCB with a Milmax socket soldered on so that it's technically hot swap, some very cheap APS keycap set, and a plastic case. I can see why it's $15, but I am still quite upset that none of my switches would fit in the sockets. If all you need is a mechanical keyboard, this is definitely an option. However, it is only an option if you like blue switches. Personally, me myself, I don't like blue switches, so it is a no for me. So in the end, I'll rate this keyboard a 4 out of 10, because I want to clarify that a 4 out of 10 is not bad. It is average. 5 is mid. Okay, 5 is the middle ground. This keyboard matches with the price, it matches with the description, and it works just fine as a keyboard. There's nothing broken with it, and I mean if you want to force it, I guess you can change the switches. Plus, with how cheap it is, you know, it's fine. Well, now that we're here at the end of the video, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. I plan to post similar videos to this in the future. And with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye. Why is it so hard to take you out? It should not be this hard, bro. Dude, oh my god. My finger hurts. That's how... That's how hard I've been pulling these switches. Please! Oh my god.